it too bad. He's kind of like he's kind of a youngster though. It's kind of hard for him this week to pair up with a man like Cousin Bo that has a little more ring experience. He's rolled around a few rings in his day. Well, he's definitely a fan favorite here in the PWI. Cousin Bubba, the big guy out of northern Indiana. You sure that ain't Big Rig? Speaking of Big Rig, as you bring this up, and at a good time, we got the big tag team tournament coming up in the PWI, going for the, the unplanned uh, belts here. Yeah, I was, I was called on this. There's going to be some interesting things come up with this tag team tournament in the weeks ahead. Well, we'll talk about it a little more here, but right now, action is underway. Rex Diamond. See, that's that's inexperience in, in these young wrestlers. They, you know, guys like Cousin Bubba, you just can't go power for power with them. They're just these big old farm boys. They might be a big old boy, but he's got a lot of power in that oversized body. We've seen in past matches, even the scientific side come out on Cousin Bubba. See, now he knows what he's doing, see? Cousin Bubba's not paying no attention. He's thinking about that next meal. Rex Diamond's going to take advantage of it. Rex Diamond going with a series of kicks now to the back of Cousin Bubba. Uh, now Cousin Bubba's ready see, to stand up. Look at He should have stayed. He should have stayed on what was working for him. Instead, he decided to change up the game plan and see what's happening. Cousin Bubba's taking over. Meet the corner. Rex Diamond. Oh, yeah, the referee ought to be saying, oh, the referee ought to be saying something better than using the hand. The referee's letting him get away with it. Clean hold there, no doubt. Clean hold by Cousin Bubba. Does not need to resort to those type of tactics that you're so are, familiar with. Are we watching the same match? He definitely had the man's hair and ran him into the corner. But now he just seemed like he's just going to run over top of it. Well, Mr. Diamond here is uh, asking for a respite. Looking for a timeout. Timeout. Believe it or not, a timeout. This is a sport. You know, there's, there's timeouts in all sports. Why can't there be a timeout here, too? Well, the timeouts you're most familiar with uh, when you're outside the ring. And now, wait a minute. Too wait a minute. You're, you're starting to get a little personal here. You don't want to be doing that. But coming up in this tag team tournament. I see. Bubba's down. The, the kid is finally, he's got it together. He, he knows exactly what's going on now. Well, he definitely wants to keep the big man down, keep him low, down on the map, if he's going to gain control of this guy. It's in Bubba's favorite position, sitting in the air. See, now see, he's in the air again, using the air again, the referee's letting him get away with it. See, and I don't know why fans like this guy, because he resorts to the, the most dirtiest tactics he can think of. Come on now. Clean clothesline there, taking him off his feet. Lifted him off the mat. One more time. Get there we go. There we go. This is going to take over. This is it. Bubba's sure. done. A little bit oh. late. A little bit yeah, late. Yeah, he kind of tells that. Though. Now we got the big squash. You know, after that, man, nobody gets it. And again, we see another victory by the big man from Fairmont, Cousin Bubba. It was a lucky victory with a, with a least inexperienced man. With a more experienced man, that never would have happened. 